how's it going? Everyone okay, I hope? Uh, well, you joined me today, uh, a little mini adventure, a couple of days worth. I'm in the Yorkshire Dales, I'm in a place uh, up from Settle, I think it's Landcliff, I think I drove through just before. Uh, and my sort of mi mission, well mission, little kind of uh, jump. What I'm going to do is find, there's a couple of caves called the Jubilee Cave and the Victoria. So I'm going to head out and on my map that I normally use, I'll show in a minute, it's not on there. So what I'm going to use is something, I'm going to use the watch to navigate me to these caves. I've not used this uh, way of doing it on, on this watch before, so a little bit of a test for it really. Not a massive hike, but it's just nice to get out there on the moors. Not a bad day. It's about, what, uh, 8 degrees at the minute. Um, it's a bit cloudy, but the sun's coming out, so it's scattered clouds. And uh, a little bit of a breeze, but not too bad, really. So, yeah, glad to be out. Uh, and I'm just going to enjoy the time spent out in nature uh, tonight. I've treated myself to, I must admit, a campsite. So I'm going to plug into the electrics on my van. I noticed that the leisure battery was getting a little bit low. So I thought I'll give it a good boost, I'll give it a good charge up overnight. I should really do it at home, but I don't. I just rely on the driving. So uh, I thought after my incident in the Peak District, which was the last video where I got kind of, shall I say, moved on in the morning. The battery was like kind of flicking on so i thought i'm gonna just chill out relax there's a pub around the corner so after this walk get back there uh i'm not gonna eat in there because i looked at the price of the menu it's a bit bloody expensive so I might have a pint or so then come back to the van and uh, cook up some food and then tomorrow um ingleton uh falls walk so I'm going to do that, I think, as well. So, a couple of caves today. Chill out time. Uh, usual, if you're, if you're new to my channel, then you know the kind of things that I do. But, uh, again, it's it's still too cold for the bike, if everyone's wondering. So, I'm getting a bit old. A little bit of aches and pains lately. I've got a bit of a dodgy knee at the minute as well. So, hope that holds up. So, what I've got to use is the Garmin explore so i never used it before but on my usual multi-map on my phone um the caves aren't highlighted what you see in there jubilee cave and victoria cave if it's focusing in right so i'm gonna send them to the to the watch so i think what you do you just push it Quite hard to do well. So set a point. Go. You see how it sends that straight to the watch. Now in a minute it says tactical. So what I want to do is just send it. So I wanna I'm not gonna hike to it, I'm gonna walk to it. Map comes up, waiting for GPS, on the green, I send my doors open on the van, that's all that is. Well see that little red trail, it tells you which way to go. What I have done on the van is beefed up the security, that is brilliant, that disc lot, such a you can get a grey one, get it, you bought that, you can see it for miles, can't you? Uh, there's other things on the van, obviously, I am not going to tell you, but it's well secure. So yeah, it's kind of, uh, I'm filming off my phone now, a little bit easier to focus. So, I'm heading on the right pathway, just head on up and just follow it. The arrow is pointing um, north. I like to do video kind of you know 
locking the van and stuff like that and walking away and all the caper but there was a Range Rover came in an older couple looked rather miserable smiled at them but never got it back we'll get some people yeah telling me to like dog leg that's well, a sign over there <laughs> Glad we're not going that way. It's a load of big cows. Yeah, you guys can stay on that side of the fence. No worries. Some great views. Now I would have gone straight ahead at this point. And what she's saying, and it bleeps. <coughs> and he's saying do a um, do a left. So it's up there, isn't it? Well, that was easy. says arriving at destination so we're nearly there this looks an interesting one so I think the other one's further up oh, look at this that goes quite far in as well mm. Let's get some light on. It's a bit spooky, isn't it? It does. So, if this cave has got a name, um, let me know. It's a bit slippery, I know that. I think it's a dead end. It's fairly wet underfoot. Don't know how deep it is. Could be wet feet in a minute. Oh shit, yep. Yeah. That was deep. Yeah, so that kind of uh gets to the end. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. You won't want to go up there, would you? Gotta turn around now. Well the light. Typical that, eh? The torch comes on. When uh, I'm facing light, not the other way around. Right. I'll be very careful. Right, so I'm going to make my way out. And uh, as far as I'm going to go in this one, definitely. So we've reached the mouth of Victoria Cave. And uh, it was originally discovered, I believe, in 1837. Um, and the other one, Jubilee, again named because of Queen's Victoria Jubilee, but Victoria because of Victoria. But then in 1870, Charles Darwin came to it. Obviously he was studying climate change and all the rest of it. and. Uh, well, there's been quite a lot of 
finds in here. Um, apparently a family of hyenas lived in. And obviously uh, I've got a Neolithic man, so Stone Age tools and things like that. If I'm using the right terminology, Stone Age, Neolithic. But yeah, quite um, a site of, shall we say, historic interest. So let's go and have a bit of an explore. Wow, amazing cave, it really is. Yeah, there's a barrier when you get to this point. So obviously they want to protect it, but I guess as well, if you took a slip, you could drop down. So the robin fluttering around there. Yeah. Imagine. Early man lived in here. I was going to make a coffee and uh, have something here, but I've run out of gas. <laughs> so, um, whether the coal's got to it, I don't know. So, I think I might head back to the van and do that. But yeah, really impressive place. I need to carefully make the way down now. See you in a minute. So back to the road near the van now. And uh never actually got to Jubilee Cave. Uh, to be honest, I believe it's not as uh, impressive as um, the other one anyway. So anyway, I'm heading back. Get back in the van, I'm going to get to the campsite, get set up, and uh, I think I might nip to the pub for a pint. So I'll see you in a bit when I'm at the campsite. It's in a place called Wigglesworth, so looking forward to it. So I just arrived at this Willow Beck Farm, it's called. It says new arrivals, please wait here. So, if not call, I'm going to give them a call. There's only a few small pictures. It's like a lodge house there. The farm's up there. And uh, there's like a gated entrance over there. And uh, the village, apparently, pub's just over here. Getting a bit dark now. So. Over here is uh, my van parked up. So I've got an electric point I'm going to plug in in a minute. <clears throat> You've got your usual campsite facilities grey water disposal, toilet disposal, bins, and uh, Turn on the electric. It's all heated in here, it's nice and cosy. Big toilet, wash basin, and a shower, oh, and a hand dryer. <laughs> Just come on behind me. But yeah, nice and warm. I'm sure, turn the lights off. Plenty of size knocking about. Right, so. Wastewater bucket there underneath, packed in here. I'm uh, hooked up to electric. And uh, not many no noise in this side. Kind of diesel later, but really noisy. It's quite quiet. So I'm actually using uh, 
I'm actually using the electric side of the Propex heater system. So first time I've used that, so I'm just getting it up to temperature. And I'm gonna have a walk up the road and uh, see what this pub's like. reference just back in the van now it's getting dark and uh, I'm just having something to eat really so a bit of a uh, iron tomato soup and some bread so it was a starter so it's only early yet I'll have tea about what seven eight o'clock so uh, I'll catch you in a bit um, but I say just day one really that bit of a walk found in the caves which was pretty good I enjoyed that pity the pub shut Never mind. Yeah, so I'm on the electric side of it. The heat is kicking in when that red light goes on. So that's when you fire up your gas and that's for your uh, electric. So the heater's just running on the electric at the minute. Uh, nice. Well, it says 22 there to get it to. Well, in the van, depends where the sensors are placed. It says 19, so I'm pretty cosy. Ventilation out through the front window and that top vent there and uh, when I was cooking I always opened that that side window we've got grilled gammon lovely fried egg corn mashed potato oh pineapple as well can't forget the corn there you go not bad although I do say so myself well good morning <coughs> I stood up in my van great isn't it oh I tell you what you can't beat there Drew I put the cover down at night and uh, last night I had a, a great great night's sleep and uh, slept like a log nice and peaceful dead quiet I could hear um, a couple of owls tooting uh, I could hear like a fox but uh, just happy food um, and then uh, happy food and then uh, sat and watched a movie or two <clears throat> and then I was in bed about what half 11 something like that so I slept like a log really did but this watch didn't tell me so going back to this um, it's, this is probably the best watch I've ever owned that the Casio I had if you, if you say uh, you, you used to my channels was a brilliant watch loved it dead chunky but this just tells you so much information and uh, that, using the, the Garmin, that app, to connect to it, I think it's called Explore, and you can map your own routes, was absolutely brilliant. So if you're out on a hike and you want to keep digging out a phone or a GPS or anything, it's on your wrist. Yes, don't rely just on um, devices that have a map as well, just in case. Uh, but, but absolutely wonderful bit of kit it vibrates and you can set it to kind of bleep when you want to make a turn but um i was so impressed with that 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 that's a that's a proper bit of kit on your wrist that is it really is so uh <clears throat> it's not the cheapest watch so it was a bit of a christmas treat for me but uh you know it, it's so it's called the garmin tactics pro 7 i think um yeah I, I highly recommend it definitely i'm not going to go into any in-depth reviews or anything like that um I've, I've just showed you the basics of it <clears throat> there's loads of youtube videos out there that do that so i'm gonna uh cook myself some breakfast um i've developed i don't know what it is i think it's called bursitis i was looking up in, in my right knee it's like whenever i kneel down so even holding that bed over like Ugh! but walking pain it is is it's not bad so i'm gonna do the uh ingleton uh fells waterfall trail today <clears throat> and i uh, give that a go it's about four and a half miles apparently you park up pay eight quid you go in and then you gotta go and finish it so four and a half miles that's it's a breeze in it really but then that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Got some great photographs from the from the cave yesterday. As I say, the Jubilee Cave can be a, can be another visit, I think, in the summer. So right, let's cook up some breakfast. Nice bit of scrambled egg.
toast and coffee. There you go. Beautiful. I tell you what, the wind's getting up a bit. I see the trees moving. You see it out there? Wouldn't be too bad. I'm going to enjoy this and then uh, I'm going to get packed away. Yeah, been a great stay. Enjoyed it. So, Willow Willow Tree, Willow, Willow Bank campsite and uh, Wigglesworth. Oh, I've sent my electrics out. And I'm off. But yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable stay. So, I'm just going to start this trail. I'm not counting a tripod, uh, I'm not counting a drone. It says between two and a half to four hours to complete it. It's a strenuous trail. There's six waterfalls, I think. So, anyway, let's see how long it takes us to do it, shall we? Probably about ten. Um, no, I don't think so. Parking area. And then you got like a ticket office. Cash eight quid. So yeah, there's a start. It just shows you where to go. So we're 20 past 12, see how long it takes me. It's like quite a well-defined path. Gorgeous scenery. I do say it's a strenuous one. Just hope my uh, knee lasts out. This is absolutely stunning. It really is. Two and a half hours, I'm probably gonna take me longer if I keep stopping. Wow. I've got any coins on me. <sighs> So yeah, really enjoying this. This is a one-way walk as well, so one way in, one way out. First waterfall, you just see it up there. Back it falls. It's a small falls. I guess you can't call it that. <laughs> Waterfall number one. It's done it. Takes you up now over mall and I guess and up and round. So yeah. This one's called Hollybush Spout. There's a bit of a climb up them steps to uh, What's great about this view, that walk I should say, because it's one way. You don't got to worry about anyone coming down. So when you're stopped a little bit out of breath, tending to admire the views, but really like, <laughs> it's not that bad actually. One of those moments where uh, the phone slightly slipped. <laughs> uh, oh, tell you what, I've got to say, I am absolutely sold on the Yorkshire Dales. Stunning. We're coming down into, as of you looking back, best thing about doing one of these walks, do it in the week. I've got the sound of bin lids anywhere. We do it the weekend, probably busy, wasn't it? So, Beasy Farm, apparently, toilet and a uh, little cafe. So, nice cup of Yorkshire tea is in order, I think. And, uh, the head is uh, Inglebury. I go up the top of that one day. 
spot on the list. Used to be at Beasley Farm is actually down here. So this is a campsite. It's electric hookups. So yeah. It's nice that. That's our cafe shut bucket. Oh well. Good job we got some stuff for me in it. It's called Beasley Falls. I think my number four I think. And I think the pathway goes down there. Not breezy over there, I think we'll make our brew. Stones up, that's got a bit of gas in this one. So, what we have it? Caramel latte, good old banana. Some nuts if we need it, salt if we need it. Uh, biscuit somewhere. And then, Bella Vita one, so I'm just boiling now. my iPhone to record this so there's been wind noise, the background noise and I'm sorry but it's a lot easier actually just digging your phone out of your pocket and videoing even though you're not got your microphone so you get the whole kit and caboodle with me so I give up like trying to reduce wind noise and stuff you get what you get so there you go. Max and Gil George I think this is called That's the walk done. I mean, he said uh, four and a half miles. Well, four and a half, it's taken me what three hours. So, give or take, kind of stopping off, had a bit of coffee. So, for three hours, yeah, pretty good if you want to stop and look at your views and stuff. But, yeah, really impressed by it. Well worth your eight quid. Nice, secure parking, uh, well managed trail. It was great. But come on a weekday when it's pretty quiet. Trouble is, January, everywhere, but it's shut. I mean, I came past like cafes and stuff like that, attempt to fish and chips, stuff like that. It's green day like they're closed. It's a Monday, but it's in January, so what do you expect? Anyway, not only that, toilets are shut as well. So it says uh, the walk. It says a fairly strenuous walk. Well, I found it out. I'm f no, no. Um, it, it's, I think it's a moderate walk, basically. So, uh, you know, if, if you're used to hiking, then it, it's going to be moderate. It's, it's not. Not that hard. It's, it's nice, but it's, it's pretty easy, really. So, I hope you enjoyed my little uh, adventure. So, seen some caves, we camped, we used the van, we did a bit of cooking, we seen some waterfalls, been on a hike. Um, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon. So, please subscribe to me if you like what I'm doing. Look back at some of the other videos that I've done, and you might like some of the other content, like. Biking, hiking, kayaking, you name it, I've done all sorts of stuff. But uh, this is one I've, I've enjoyed, it's been great to get out. So I'll bid you farewell, hope everyone's okay, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. See you now, bye bye.